Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. As you guys can see, I went a little bit overboard last time, yesterday, last night actually, dyeing my hair. This is, <laughs> this is too intense for me. <laughs> But I was rinsing my hair, um, it was too late, so I might as well just like keep it and I look like a superhero now apparently. So I was just reading your comments because I always do and I love all of your recommendations for blue pencils. <laughs> I love that we have this weird passion about pencils, you and me. Um, a bunch of you guys recommended me this one actually, it's the Karandash. Karandash? um blue pencil it's one of my favorites actually i'm still in the hunt for a perfect pencil by the way guys um i have no idea how am i going to get the perfect one but i'm 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 trying pencils like crazy basically kb dash said no music update <laughs> so dash this is for you um recently i've been listening to lots of albums right now i'm listening to modern lovers first time as well and first time also listening to the talking heads this was a really nice album by the way and before that i listened to the who and bob dylan i think i already said this the other day but holy shit this bob dylan album is really nice i have never been a huge i mean it's not that i haven't been a huge fan of bob dylan i don't know bob dylan at all of course i've listened to bob dylan in the past but never a whole album and that was a really nice experience actually and a bunch of you guys asked me where did i buy this marvelous stickers i've said this a million times already and i will never be tired to recommend this brand enough but all of these sticker sheets are from sticker app um they sound like there are an app but no it's the name of the company sticker app i think they're swiss based um, they're Europe based and they ship um, I think within Europe and the States and the quality is so cool Honestly, they're the best stickers I've ever tried. I tried different brands and Many like combinations and by far sticker app is amazing. Please give it a go. Last week I filmed everything about my pencils and why I love pencils so much. So I'm going to add this right now. This are all of my color prints. As you guys can see, my collection is not that big. And by me, big, I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's like manageable. All of my color pencils fit my pencil case, but I really wanted to share all of them and my favorites, my not so favorites, and why, why am I doing this? This is the alpha and the omega of the color pencils in my, opinion this is the prismacolor color erase i love this pencil so freaking much and i love it because it's erasable guys nowadays there's many many brands who are offering erasable pencils and i highly suggest you use this one because i feel like graphite and other graphite pencils they smudge like crazy and it's really tricky to color with color pencils and not to leave, leave like um, traces and smudges and like dark black, um, again, smudges and stains all over the place. So once I started using the color erase in Vermilion and Car Carmine Red, I think are the two of my favorite ones. I never looked back. It's my favorite baby of all time. I know a lot of you guys also use this one over here, which is also an erasable pencil and is the Karan Dash. I have no idea how you say that, but this one comes in this very icy blue and it, it's actually called the non-photo blue pencil because once you scan it, it's very easy to um, erase it in post-production. It's very convenient. All of the rest, guys, is up to you. I'm not suggesting that you should buy these specific colors. Again, so sorry about the noise. Uh, but in my opinion, guys, and please take it or leave it, don't buy a color pencil box. The issue with boxes is that you end up, uh, maybe it looks like a more convenient and affordable way to buy more pencils, but in the end, at least in my case, I didn't use all of the pencils at, like in the color pencil, um, in the color pencil box. <laughs> so I realized that I'd rather 
built up my collection from colors that I was really into at the time. And I don't know if you can see, but this is my color palette. These are the colors that I use, and I feel like it's way more manageable uh, to start like this rather than with all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, before I continue, I also suggest that you buy something like this. It's a pencil extension, extender, extend, this is the word. It's really affordable, it's available on all art supply shops, and is by far the best invention ever. <laughs> I think I have two or three of these ones, and I use it because, I don't know if you can see, but they're really, really cute, but they're a pain in the ass to handle, to hold between your fingers. So that's why this guy is the best when it comes down to just like squeezing every drop left out of your pencils. You can still like sharpen it, it's amazing. These are my favorite color pencils. I'm going to leave everything down below, so in case you're like, Fran, what is the name of that pencil? Don't worry, it's down below. So if I should suggest to you colors, um, if you wanna start like your own color palette, I'm so sorry if the camera is moving by the way. Um, these are my favorite ones in the universe. They're all from different brands. They all have different textures and effects and they're soft and hard and whatever in between. <laughs> but I just love the color so much. I think all of them are super versatile and I use them on a regular basis. I also wanted to mention this too, because even though I already mentioned it in the past with this one that I just purchased, the Prismacolor Very Thin are the best for outlining illustrations. As you guys can see, this one has been really well loved. <laughs> Uh, because I think for red is my favorite one is the Carmine red do not confuse this one with this one because These one are uh, these pencils the color erase collection are erasable and these ones are not <laughs> So make sure that you don't mix this ones two up uh, but other than that yeah, I just love color pencils. I love the texture. I love how portable they are. So yeah, I hope I answer some of your questions. I know no one asked me about my color pencil collection, but I wanted to share so far a few of my sketches and my favorite colors. If you're into or you're feeling curious about color pencils, it's a really um, easy and affordable way to start. So I feel like if you wanna try to, I don't know, give life to your sketchbook, it's a really easy way. Uh, to do. Hi guys, welcome to a very weird angle and noise. Um, <laughs> I have like strange news, so good news, all of my scenes arrive for the festival, which is by the way Mocha. I'm going to attend Mocha this year. I'm very excited because I've always wanted to go to Mocha and now I'm going to Mocha. Uh, the, the weird thing is that, I mean, we did it guys. I have all the all the scenes and all the products that I wanted for the festival in the first place, which is a nice thing. I thought for a second I wasn't going to have anything for sale because everything is in Hastings and the moving takes about 12 weeks to arrive. So no, 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 no. there's no way I could have made it on time. So I ordered these scenes from also Merch. They have delivery, they ship to the US. The weird thing is that I order, I order 500 of each design. These are all of the scenes that I have, guys. I have Oh Please Like Me. I have this one, which is uh, the Bradford Cereal Girls. And then I have uh, Orange Ginger Jam and I have Perks of a New Body. This one was from when I turned 30 and this one is from my trip to Chile. The issue guys is that I order 500 from each design and there's no 500 of these designs. <laughs> I mean clearly there's 500 from that sign and I think there's 500 from this one but I only got one box of this one and two boxes from this one. So I have no idea if they're going to keep arriving more boxes um, <laughs> in the next couple of days. Let's just see. I mean, even if this is it, I am so thankful that I have something to sell in Mocha. And the other thing is that I finally have some professional business cards. They're very simple, guys. <laughs> but I just wanted to have something to hand to people. And that's it. Now, I think I'm going to go to a plant nursery that is really close from here. I would love to have 
some plants uh, because my friend, my friend Stan and Lou, they gave me this present as a, like a home warming, do you say that? Home warming present for my office. And I think you guys, with this plant, my office suddenly looks like, looks and feels so warm and like alive. <laughs> So I am going to see if it's um, if it's open, the nursery, the plant nursery, and hopefully we can get some plants um, for today. So let's go, let's go together, you guys, you and me. Am I crazy? Yeah, I'm super crazy. I hope you accept me as the weirdo I am. <laughs> Officially crazy, crazy plant lady. dark too dark there you go how are you guys today is thursday man my loves it's been such a crazy week so far so today i had scheduled um ikea delivery but it went wrong <laughs> and i think it's going to arrive next week which is fine because i will be able to actually show you everything that um that i order so it's not a, it's not, it's not bad. That is what I'm trying to say. God, I'm tired, guys. And this morning, it's been really crazy because I had to coordinate that failed IKEA um, arrival, arrival order. I also had to talk with a delivery man because I finally received my two uh, also merch orders that I did for my scenes. The scenes that yesterday I had no idea what went wrong. Apparently last night I got a phone call from Costumes because they held my parcels like the two boxes longer for no apparent reason and then I received a phone call all over from the UK a long distance call because um, Friday tomorrow uh, uh, they're going to start picking up all this stuff from my office from the Hastings office um, to start shipping everything here. So it's been crazy, guys. I am exhausted. Plus this week I had not one, but two therapy sessions. Um, uh, and I'm just mentally and emotionally drained. <laughs> I'm good. That's like, I'm not complaining. I mean, it sounds like I'm complaining. I'm just like sharing why I didn't upload anything this week. And I just, I just want to rest for one day. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to take the day off because it's been super intense. But um, today I actually felt like a business lady because when I was talking with the delivery guy who was standing in front of me <laughs> with my also merch parcels, I got the phone call from the UK and I just thought for one second, oh my God, I am in New York in my office. I am just like receiving an order from scenes and I'm talking all over the, all over to the UK uh, for moving. So it sounded like very professional, very international. <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm proud of what I have accomplished. I've worked so hard to be where I am. And sometimes I forgot, I forget about all of that. And it's been super nice. Of course, I'm destroyed right now. I'm just, I just wanna go home and like sleep. <laughs> 
but I am so happy of everything. I am especially happy of all of these plant babies who are keeping me company right now. I don't know if you can see. Look, my desk looks so happy right now. And also, I'm trying to <laughs> enjoy myself um, painting and just like filling out my sketchbook because I haven't had a chance to properly like sit down, listen to some nice good old music and just draw and paint. I mean, I'm an illustrator, I'm supposed to do this, but <laughs> it's been a while since last time I do it. I did it. By the way, guys, because you apparently are very, um, you want to know all the updates on the music challenge. Right now I am listening to good old John Le Hooker. Hooker. I said that in a very weird accent. John Lee Hooker. Very nice. Very nice. I li previously listened to OS, uh, Oasis. <laughs> God, Oasis. And previously I listened to TLC. Very interesting as well. And you already know this um, Funky Kingston from uh, Toots and the Maytals, I guess is how you say it. Yeah, I love this challenge so much, you guys. I've been learning so much about music. I am not an expert, like, at all. But now I guess I can say, oh yeah, I've listened to Bob Dylan. And <laughs> before that, I couldn't say that. Anyway, um, yeah, do you like these updates? I never know. Sorry about that. Hi guys, good morning. Uh, today's Monday, so happy Monday. <laughs> uh, I am very sleepy, you guys, so thank God for this amazing cup of coffee. Right now I'm going to start listening to Jackson Brown, Late for the Sky. As always, my first time listening to Jackson Brown. Um, I have no idea who Jackson Brown is. Am I saying his name correctly? I have no idea. Hi guys, I'm actually the same position last time we talked. Anyway, I managed, I don't know how, don't ask me how, but I managed to um, draw an illustration for Instagram, um, that New York life. And I also uh, tested a few stickers. These are the new stickers that unfortunately there's no way you can <laughs> have them right now <laughs> because my shop is closed, but I'm going to be selling them at Mocha. And I wanted to test, for example, if the transparency was working um, <laughs> or um, if the white parts were working um, in between the transparent uh, parts. It, I'm so sorry if this doesn't make sense, but I like them so much. I also replied, answered. I always say reply, but it's answer. I also managed to answer some emails. And overall, I think I had a very productive uh, day. Oh no, and I also managed to do some pins. I'm going to make some laptops and some panties and some clouds. Um, I already baked these babies and I managed this time to not ruin the pin part of the whole thing, like the pin thing. So I think I'm going to paint this in the upcoming week. So thank you so much for being so patient and nice to me and for watching these videos and for leaving awesome, nice comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support and for being here for me. I'm there with you. Um, no, how, you, how can you say that? I'm there, I'm here, I'm here for you.
a ton of weird. I love you. Thank you so much for all your support, patrons, and for allowing me to buy some plants. <laughs> Is that too superficial to say? Anyway, you also helped me buy um, some delicious uh, Fimo Sculpey for the pins and awesome art supplies. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for your support and your love. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and a weekend ahead and I'll see you next week. Bye guys, bye baby plants. We need names for the plants, you guys. I have that guy over there. I have two guys over there and I have one one that for some reason looks very sad but it's very happy because it's a shadow shade plant so if you have any names hit me up let me know hit me up